I sensed tension and came as fast as I could. Hi. I... Here's the thing, okay, so, like, I was drinking, right, and I was gonna hang out with someone, right? Didn't happen. Um, so, I was talking with a friend, and she was just like, why don't you tell this story? Because we went on live, we went on live, like, the other day, and we were just, like, talking about stuff, like, you know? Like, catching up, and then, like, you know, spilling some old tea to fill in some gaps from our memories or whatever. So here's the thing, I was gonna do this whole thing where like, I told stories, right? Like, open, like eventually, like I have stories that like I will wanna tell just because, just because, shenanigans, you know? Like I've always said my life is like a badly written TV show, right? Right. So I'm like, we're gonna turn some of these stories into like content. So, yeah, but I'm just like, why not start from one of the earliest ones, you know? From my early 20s. Oh God, I'm there now. I can say my early 20s. I'm gonna wake up and be 45. I think he's checking on me, and like he's completely fine. But I'm like agitated. Oh, well, we were talking about Plug you up. Wow. Wait, where's the camera? Hold on. Hi, I'm Smuddy, and welcome to my world. Is that what I'm gonna say now? I don't think that's what I'm gonna say. I don't like that, but I'm gonna keep it in here because, like, I'm not doing that again. We're just not doing that. It's not the vibe. Oh yeah, I'm telling a story. Okay, so this is what happened, all right? So if you were a teenager around 2010 to like, I don't know how long it went on because I didn't watch it. Okay, one of my best friends watched it. Um, it was Pretty Little Liars, right? And it was this whole thing of like with A and the drama, the text messages that just went out, right? Okay, so when I was in college, um, the first time, that we had that kind of issue, right? So it's like freshman year, right? So... I was about to say math. I was about to say math. Biology, so like... <laughs> well, like chemistry is like the math of science, but like it was biology. Like I, it was not, biology. I wasn't doing chemistry, okay? We're not fucking with that at all. Well, physics is like the math of science. Okay, so like, we're chilling in math, <laughs> biology class. <laughs> we're chilling in biology, right? So then like, I get a text or do I go outside? I don't know. I think I get a text and then I go outside. I get a text and then go outside, I think. Or is it a phone call? Something hits the phone, something hits my line. <laughs> I think it's a text message. It has to be a text. This is about text messages. It's a text message and it hits my line. And I go outside and I'm like, bro. And then like the text message. So you know like how they have like pageants and stuff. So the text message was talking about like all the passion girls, right? Some of it was true. Some of it was not true. And some of it, I don't know, right? So it was like a mess. And so like it went out to like me and like a few other friends and the girls that were in the pageant. Except for like one, I think. So that happened. And like I think class happened. Like, yeah. And then like after that class it was lunch. So I had lunch. And so we had lunch with the homies and we all had like gathered at the table, right? And we're just like, okay. If all those got these text messages about these pageant girls at the same time, then it has to be someone involved in the pageant, right? But he's like, we're not going to tell anyone because this could be like mess. Because like, why does this person have all of our numbers? It would be, it would make sense if we were like a high school group of people, because in high school it's just like we're the crew. 
but like we're in college, you know? People are like, they have their crews, but then they like, they go on side missions a lot. More individualistic in a sense, because we're growing into adults, blah, 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 blah. So it's not like, it wouldn't make sense for somebody to have the number of everybody in the group, because not everybody hang out like that. Oh. Okay, so we was having our episode of Case Closed, our conversations. <sighs> so that's why not, that's why I don't remember anything. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. I forgot about that. Okay. So we didn't do anything. So what happened is then the text messages kept coming. Um, and it was like just like more stuff related, like with people related to the pageant girls, and then the text messages. I guess because we weren't causing enough drama, the text messages went out to a broader group of people at like like let's let's say all this happened at ten o'clock. By three o'clock the same day, all the text messages that we got earlier and the new ones were sent out to a bunch of random people to try to spread it out. Because the people that was getting it earlier, the, the first batch of people, the ones who either were involved in the passion or knew the passion girls, they, we weren't doing anything with it because we didn't want it to get out. So, who did it? Who was responsible? Oh my god, is my edge up looking together? Are we looking gathered for the first time in a month? Okay. I swear more stuff happened, but I, I swear I'm forgetting something. I'm skipping something, but you know what? So, okay, so it was like a lot of mess, right? It was a lot of mess. Okay, but the problem was like certain things in the text messages were fresh. Like were fresh. Like I just heard about this shit two days ago, right? Which of course makes me more suspicious. Um, it made me and my bestie suspicious because apparently we knew too much. Okay, we knew we were like one of those people that like knew a lot of things. She was more likely to tell my the other business, but I was like, I, like, I want to know. Tell me, you know. Um, like when I would hold it, I would keep in the secrets, but like just the fact that you know enough and that you like that you're really social automatic suspect which makes sense which makes perfect sense but it was just annoying so we thought it was like an RA because like who else could have access to that many numbers from those that many those different social groups or whatever because they even have the number of somebody that don't even give their number to anybody like don't give their number to nobody somebody and then like somebody that lives off campus like, now that I'm remembering that, I'm just like, they went through a lot of work for this. Like, maybe it wasn't a lot of work and they was just friends with the right person, but I'm just like, some of these people were random as hell. That's a lot of effort, my hands. I think I did. Maybe. I don't know. I wish I had that kind of energy. Yeah. Right. Why, why did we leave school? Oh, it was a break. Okay, so spring break, right? Spring break. So spring break happened, and then over spring break, like a little bit more was was released, and then my name was put in it, and then they had something about like the school representative person. So that happened, but it was like it was stale. It was stale. It was like something everybody technically already knew. So it's just kind of like okay, whatever. So that kind of carried on a little bit into like the next year kind of because like basically me and my friend got blamed for all of it and it's essentially but my friend never came back to the school so the next year I got blamed for all of it and somebody who was part of our close friend group who we thought was on our side was telling everyone not to trust me because apparently I was behind it all and yeah so that's interesting yeah telling the new class so that, that was cute. So, so time goes by and I talk to my bestie, right? We're like living our lives, doing our thing, whatever, whatever and ever. 
So she says she found out who did it, okay? It was, we're gonna call him Charles, right? So this is this guy named Charles. He was friends with a guy named Ray. Ray was fake annoying and just kind of like extra, but then claimed not to be extra and then shamed other people for being extra. It was a lot. But like, he was like the more chill half of the half and he kind of liked to mind his business. He had like things to do. So he was like, and then like, like cause he, he tried to get buck with me one time and like my ancestors and this girl named Jasmine told me not to do anything. So I was just like, I don't really have an issue with you. So like, bye. <laughs> so that happened, right? So it was, it was, always, it was always kind of a neutral space. Um, but apparently he was the one who was in charge of it. You know, there was just like, me and my homegirl know too much and he wanted to do something about it. So, did see, he basically pulled off a frame job that was very fitting for the characters that he saw us as. Which was actually pretty smart. And then he just got like a bunch of dumbasses to go along with it, including one double agent that continued to be friends with me until they left the school. So that was nifty. And apparently it was so dramatic and caused so many issues that even the people at the uh, at H did UT heard about it. So yay. I don't I don't know what that means. Um I want a book. If I don't if I don't see a book, if I don't see credits, okay, if I don't if I don't see royalties, it means nothing to me. Okay, if I don't see this made into an episode, nothing. Don't give a fuck. Pretty Little Liars. Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. But they both have this common friend that gets overlooked. And when that happens, this person has free reign to be as messy as possible without being a suspect. And so yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was just for shits and giggles. It was just, and the RA was innocent, which is, it was just funny. Flashback, what are you talking about? There was some other thing, some other thing I was blamed for, but like I didn't know what it was, because I was busy like having mental breakdowns. <laughs> so yes, um, Got the night birds, got an earthquake. 1.5 when I make the best shake. Put it down, hit it.